I know we're in camp we're training and whatnot, right? And I've been like, how would I say, pushing the, pushing the button, you know what I'm saying? Because you know we've been gone for so long and whatnot, you know? And it can get you killed. Mm. And I also know that about the game as well. How did you know you had trouble with the law? How did you find that out? Huh? Ah. <laughs> thank you. I'd like to thank Amazon, PBC, GTD Promotions, and the MGM. Everyone in the world has been anticipating the return of... Take my hands off to everybody that came out um, to this press conference. Um, Amazon Prime, uh, MGM Grand, uh, even uh, David Benavidez, you know, um, I wonder David been uh, You think he met El Chapo? I mean, I ain't worried about that, you know. What up, Chapo? Bro? <laughs> Kids. You want to be a part of this because it's going to go viral once we get it. Well, where do they go, Calvin? Um, you can go to my Instagram page, hit my um, bio, and go to the link. Because uh, so I you have a lot of car dealers that follow my page, and I want to send this out to I know we in camp training, and what not right, and I've been like, how would I say, pushing the pushing the button, say, because you know we've been gone for so long, and what not, you know, Von Davis trainer, Calvin Ford has just shocked many of Tank's fans as he's highlighted a major problem Tank faces that could impede his victory comms fight night. This is definitely not the news the boxing world wants to hear. But does this mean Frank Martin could really be having a chance as fight night draws closer reality is dawning on Von Davis's team as his train Calvin Ford has highlighted a major lapse in Javen Davis's preparation for his fight against Frank Martin. Too confident can get you killed. I also know that about the game. Well, how did you know you had trouble with the law? How did you find that out? Huh, that for that, according to Calvin Ford, this major lapse is so severe that it could be the only flaw of Devon Davis on fight night. Thank you. I like to thank Amazon PVC GTD Promotions and the MGM, everyone in the world, has been anticipating the return of the lightweight title fight is scheduled to take place on Saturday, June 15th at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, United States of America. As a result, the two fighters are looking to appear at their very best as they make preparations for their battle. In the ring this Saturday, the bout which will be shown on Amazon Prime Video Payboot has attracted attention from fans and other boxing professionals who support the music, fights the World Boxing Association, lightweight world title champion, who had not fought for over a year since he last emerged victorious against Ryan Gar in April 2023, after being forced to spend two months in prison, will be back in the ring to defend his title against Frank Martin, Frank Martin, who is ranked number two behind Davis, which implied he gets the first shot at the belt aiming to take his impressive career record up to 190, expressed how disqualified his opponent was even with the upcoming fight at hand. After he served his prison time, Davis was authorized to continue his boxing career and defend the crown he claimed after Devin Haney vacated before moving up in weight. With the fight that he will be facing Martin in a few days, to come I take my head off to everybody that came out um to this press conference. Um, Amazon Prime at MGM Grand. Ah, uh, even a uh, David Benz, you know um. I wonder David A. Uh, Davis, who previously held both the International Boxing Federation and Super Featherweight titles, on separate occasions attracted the conversations over the internet from different professionals who were concerned with how his training methods were efficient in the upcoming fight. The boxer posted video footage which went viral in all social media platforms, prompting interviews and discussions on different music occasions. And now to confirm this is trainer, Calvin Ford has spoken regarding his preparations, the former three-division world champion who claimed five world titles and currently ranked as no 10 in ESPN's pound four pound rankings, shared the moves he implemented in the preparations for the fight welcoming unexpected discussions. Davis enters this fight with 29 wins, zero defeats, and 27 knockouts. It's tough to find a better resume than that he's coming off an impressive seventh round victory over Ryan Garcia. In April 2023, 20, Saturday, 
will be Martin's first title shot despite an impressive 180 record. With 12 knockouts, he's definitely lacking in the power department. Compared to Davis, a look at Martin's unanimous decision victory over Hora Union last summer, and you'll see the ghost did a nice job of peppering the German boxer with body head combinations, moving him around the ring. And talking about Von Davis's preparations, Calvin Ford has hinted at a lapse that could kind Von Davis. His first loss should Frank Martin capitalize on it, Calvin Ford. Notably had a different training camp with John Davis, as Adrian Broner accompanied the Baltimore native in camp. While he prepared for his fight against Blair Cobbs, hopefully the presence of Adrian Broner doesn't create any form of bad luck for Von Davis as he was absolutely embarrassed by Blair Cobbs over the last weekend. See, do you think he met Chapo Hud? Do you think he met Chapo? I mean, I ain't worried about that you know what up CH. Talking about what the training camp looked like at that point, one of the reporters asked Calvin Ford about Adrian Broner's training camp, and he responded, my thoughts is that he's doing what we need him to do, um. I'm seeing the transition, I'm seeing a glimpse of what I used to watch when I was on TV, when he was on TV and stuff, said Ford according to the trainer. Almost everyone had given up on the problem, but the fact remains that he never went anywhere, Ford said. But he's still here, so he has a mission that has not been completed. Yet, so this opportunity that Don gave to him, he gets to show the world that he never left, K, you want to be a part of this because it's going to go once we get it well. Where did they go, um? You go to my Instagram page, hit my bio, and go to the link. I have a lot of car dealers that follow my page, and I want to send this out to them. Another reporter checked whether Davis and Broner were happy to be collaborating together in the camp. Ford replied that he could see Tank paying back for all the favors and help he received from Broner. So in many ways, he stressed their roles have changed. Since how they used to be earlier, the roles changed. It's like Tank the big brother Broner, the little brother. But they both even because, again, that's showing the respect of the levels before. And then after you know, so it's a good thing music. Forward, however, at the grand arrival. Calvin Ford made more shocking revelations about Dant Davis's preparations. He claimed rustiness played a big role in affecting his fighter considering he had been out of the ring for over a year. So much had happened in the space of 14 months. And it's as a result of this that the more active Frank Martin could gain some edge over his opponent. There was a collective groan around the MGM Grand Lobby when it was announced that Javin Tank Davis would not actually be arriving at his own grand arrival on Tuesday. The fight week opener fizzled ahead of Davis's scheduled World Boxing Association lightweight title defense against Frank Martin on Saturday, and disappointed fans were left shaking their heads with Davis trainer Calvin Ford. Left to carry the can and break the news, I want to apologize to the fans, Ford said killing the buzz that had built since the scheduled arrival. Started some 90 minutes earlier, he can't make it at this moment because he's been delayed but he's going to make it up to you all on fight night trust what I'm saying to you. All you all want to see this performance that he's going to put on to the fans. Davis had earlier taken to X to write the promotion for this fight was nonsense now. Watch I don't six show up to the arrival stuff today. Fans have been asked repeatedly by roving reporter Kinsey Wensky during the previous hour and a half who they were on hand to see. And while some had come to catch a glimpse of David Benevitz ahead of his fight with Alexander Vozik, the majority had come for Davis and Tank Fever, swept through the lobby. It scares me, you I'm saying, because the things that he's doing in his maturity of you know, uh, how would you say them great ones that can read the uh, the feel real good. So when he get in that ring, I watched him listen to people conversation, listen to what's going on. And we're back in business. We've been waiting for this. For a while, Ford said of Davis's first fight back after 14 months, we want to put on a great performance. We want to put on a great performance for the fans at the end of the day, watching him in camp. It scares me because of the things he's doing and his maturity when he gets in that ring. I've seen him listen to a conversation, listen to what's going on. 
and he's really focused asked about the threat posed by Detroit's Martin Ford, said it's serious because it's a different type of fight. You can't sleep on Frank Frank. Is coming to put on that party, he showed it at the press conference. He showed it throughout the whole ordeal. For being a young guy that's coming on the scene at this level, right here, I want people to leave watch TV and leave the arena, saying that's one of the classiest fights we've seen since the old days. However, Calvin Ford also highlighted the fact that Von Davis is doing everything to fight rustiness. Come back with us work. We good. You get what I'm saying. Hey, coach, can you talk about what kind of spirits AB is? And have you talked to him since great spirit? If I can see show y'all the intimate texts that he give me, you know, it's like I'm, I'm being Mike right now to him. He's been great as expected in training, however, that's still a huge factor when compared to the more active Frank Martin. Frank Martin's last match was also about 11 months ago. However, he's had less complications during his absence compared to Von Davis, who's been in prison and has had an injury during his absence. Davis won a breakout fight last April when he knocked out Ryan Garcia in their Las Vegas blockbuster. However, he then spent 44 days in prison after violating the terms of a sentence that initially saw him set to avoid being sent to jail at the start of May Davis, was sentenced over his November 2020 hit and run car crash which injured four people because he accepted a plea deal and pleaded guilty to four traffic offenses. And it's a good feeling, it's a good feeling. And Ahmed is in a good, great space, y'all you know. And he looked like the old AB, the crowd came out that means. He have love he avoided a custodial sentence tank, was instead ordered to fulfill 90 days of home detention, but was sent to.